A very good morning to all of you. Myself, Suchitra Ranglani, working as an assistant professor at Kalinga uh, KIIT School of Commerce and Economics, welcome you all to our family of Keat University. I welcome you to this Keat Connect program. Honor Honorable Director General, R&D Technology, Professor Mrityunjay Suwar, sir. Honorable Director, R&D, uh, Professor Ashok Kumar Sahu, sir. And all uh, Director Admissions, Prashant Kumar Mahapatra, sir. Director Student Affairs, Professor Samresh Mishra, sir. And all other dignitaries present over here. Today, uh, in this Keat Connect program, we'll be discussing something, uh, the professors will be discussing on technology and incubation centers. So to start with, first of all, I would like to call Dr. Mrityunjay Swar, sir. He is an entrepreneur professor with master's in marine bi biotechnology from Goa University, PhD in molecular mic microbiology from University of Delhi in 2003 and postdoc at Switzerland. He returned to India and established the School of Biotechnology in 2007 under Keat University in Bhubaneswar. To promote technology and innovation, he also established Keat Technology Business Incubator, promoting deep tech startup companies. He's a strong promoter of technology for all and works especially in the sector of public health innovation and technology development. Under his leadership, Keat TBI nurtured more than 200 startup companies and created almost 4,000 plus jobs and established the Center of Excellence supported by DST Government of India. He is committed to replicate the successful incubation model in other states uh, of East and Northeast regions of India. He also founded two companies and has a very active research group in the area of salmonella biology and nanobiomaterials. Uh, and he has published more than 100 research at research articles and filed for patents. Today, he'll be briefing you all about the ecosystem on technology, social incubation, uh, facility, social incubation facilities, and support system provided and opportunities for these students. So I welcome you, sir. Thank So very good morning to all of you. Dear students, welcome to Kit University. And uh, as Madam said, uh, I am the Director General of R&D and the CEO of Kit Technology Business Incubator. You might have gone through several programs since a couple of days, but today I'm going to tell you something which is going to be transformational in nature. So I'm going to speak about how Kit has built an ecosystem which we call Technology Business Incubator, which is very popular in the country and becoming now very global. As Madam said, we have promoted more than 250 companies and you'll realize some of your seniors have built a big company and you'll be really surprised to know how big those are. So with that, uh, can I start the uh, slides? So I'll run, you know, very 45 minutes with you or maybe you have some questions you can interrupt me or you can ask me afterwards. So what I'm trying to tell you, think beyond. Thinking beyond is going to be the practice in Kit University. And Kit Technology Business Incubator, which will provide wings to your ideas to fly. And let me tell you what you're going to explore here. Innovations, entrepreneurship, it's a culture, and Kit promotes that. It's a mindset, which Kit promotes that. It's a mission, which is Kit on a mission. It's a process which Kit is building it up and many people in the country is following it. And Kit always looks at challenges convert into opportunities. So dear students, when you come to Kit, study well, that is important. You look for placement, that is also important. But some of you, I'll be urged, urging all of you, some of you go through the process of 
creating your ideas, translating your ideas into entrepreneurship. And you'll realize some of your seniors have built it. There's a process, there's a practice of why don't you do it? Now, what is the general trends as a student? Even I was like you several years back. We do not think at all. Hardly we think differently. People say, think out of the box. I always tell people, at least think something different than what others are thinking. And many of us, we are the placement driven. I think this is important, but then can some of you drive placements through your startup companies? And you realize some of your seniors have done it quite well. And why don't you come forward and build up those platforms here in Kit? And little experience you're learning. Of course, you do practicals, but then you don't deploy, you don't engage yourself in solving a couple of problems which you have been facing day to day in your activities or in the day to day affairs. And Kit is going to tell you, Kit is going to nurture you that how can you, you know, think differently, do experiments, and then you know, solve a couple of problems. And when you do some project work, it's mostly, you know, I have seen expert research and it's very repetitive. Your seniors has done something, you're going to copy and paste. Don't do that. Kit is going to tell you, show you a path where you can do things differently. So we have a technology enabling center. Remember, dear students, these are not found in many institutions, very, very few, five or 10 in the country. Technology enabling center, which is going to provide you a platform where you can, with your professors, faculties, or with your friends, you can pick up some ideas. TC, the technology enabling center at KIT, which is funded by Department of Science, Technology, Government of India, to only a few 10 institutions in the country. Now, KIT is one of it. And there, if you bring ideas, idea could be anything, right? You want to solve a very problem and you want to build that ideas into some sort of patents, products, or a process. Talk to the members of Technology Enabling Center, which is in the uh, Campus 3, and you can reach out to them. They will help you to file patents, develop technology, prototype your technology or products, what you are building it up. And there's an office, technology transfer office, what we have in KIT with 10 members team can help you to transfer your technology. These things are not found in, I have not seen an institution, a university in the country, which has got all together. And KIT is quite popular for that, that provides you a platform to take some of your interesting ideas into enterprise, which you'll realize in the next uh, couple of minutes, you'll see that how your seniors have done it. Now, mentoring is very, very important. Dear students, please remember that in incubation, in innovations, in entrepreneurship, mentoring, just like your professor is teaching, they're known as a te teacher, faculties, gurus, but here you have to really talk to mentors. So KIT is going to provide several mentors from technology side, if you're from mechanical engineering, mechanical engineering people will be there, electronics, anybody. But then you have got IP mentoring, business mentoring, market research mentoring, design-based mentoring. These are very, very important. And they are not all faculties. They come from various institutions. And you'll be happy to note that being in KIT, we can invite anyone from the country, from globe. And you might have heard earlier, we have already invited more than 20 plus Nobel laureates to this campus. Similarly, we have been inviting a lot of big dignitaries from industries to the campus to mentor some of you who has got interesting ideas. So please don't only focus on fact, you know, your teaching curriculum, think out of the box, talk to mentors, talk to teachers, talk to the technology enabling center, translate some of your ideas into product or process. And I'll be, you know, requesting all of you build a vision plan. Don't only look for a BTEC degree, but build a vision plan. What do you want to do achieve afterwards? I know many of you will go for a job, but what other vision plan you have in mind? That is very, very important. And KIT, in KIT, dreaming allowed, dreaming big is allowed. Dreaming big is really allowed in KIT. A BTEC student after BTEC, during BTEC can really think big and you can see that what opportunities we are going to provide you. And many of us, you know, when I also have the student, many of things I was doing was not having innovations in mindset. So can you really build that in your mindset, in your process that how can you promote innovation during your BTEC studies? And as I said, technology enabling factor is missing because we study, but then we forget, how can I translate it into technology? For me, a technology is important when it goes to the market, goes to society, goes to the community, it's socialized. Otherwise, this remains as a tool in a laboratory. So do not underestimate that you are only a BTEC student. I think BTEC is quite an important degree. 
I feel they are going to be more creative in the future. And please remember, you, you should not be very classical like others. You belong to the, the brand of Kit. You are the part of Kit, and Kit is known for it, that you cannot be classical. You have to be more entrepreneurial in nature. Now, what you need, uh, what Kit provides you. So I can tell you that uh, Kit is, the, I think, the only university in this sector which is promoting innovations in the whole university is a very rapid way, very aggressive way. So we have a technology business incubator where I'm the CEO and we provide technology enabling platform where I just said government of India, DST has supported it and many of you can really file patents, complimentary, it's free for you. Don't worry about money. In the country, in India, money is not a problem. It's all about mindset. It's all about your ideas. So Kit is providing a technology enabling platform through which you can really file your patent. We are going to run several hackathons, ideathon, and where you can find out a lot of problem statements. And then you build your team and we provide you mentors and then you help you to get some fellowships, to grant money that you realize even a BTEC student, you can get grant money. Grant means the money is given to you based on your ideas, which you can spend. Of course, not to buy your racing motorbikes, but you have to you know, uh, experiment a couple of your ideas which you have proposed in the project. So it provides this platform. Apart from that, because you know your engineers going to be, uh, I think, the brand of engineers or uh, innovators, you must have knowledge about intellectual properties, and that is very very important. Because you know, if you uh, really go out and join a company, if you talk about intellectual property, patents, copyrights, I think they're going to welcome you in a big way. Regulatory, business, marketing, and you must also you know see that how can you translate your ideas to enterprise. And whenever you do all these things, don't think small, think big. You must have a vision to scale up. Scale up means it's not about one or two, it's about something in India, something in globe. And of course, uh, during your BTEC degree, I'll be requesting all of you, they don't only confine to your classrooms, think differently, reach out, build networks. Network building is today the main agenda of everyone, including me, including you, including all faculties. So please build networks and reach out to people who can really help you. Now, you might have questions in your mind that what a technology incubator is a classroom, it's a laboratory, it's a building. No. So it is completely different, which right now the whole country is talking about. You might have heard Startup India, Invest India, you know, Make in India, all those kind of concepts. This is the, the PMO's main project program. And technology business incubator is an ecosystem. It's not just like a building of classroom or laboratories. It's an ecosystem that cannot work in isolation. It means they cannot be only teaching or experimental you know, protocols. It has science, engineering, technology, product development, validation, IP support, design thinking, regulatory, market research, mentoring, business support, whatnot, investment, PR, branding, soft skills, everything. So remember,
right very good so sorry for the technical glitch now we are back it happens in technology and you have to solve it dear students so um, what tbi has said this is a facility which is going to help you to think in a creative way now what we provide here now all of you know a lot of ideas comes to your mind but then you have to translate it take it to next level so i said that Kit Technology Business Inc. We're going to help you, some of you, build your ideas. So you call ideas and programs. And if your idea is good, you select you. We provide, give you fellowships, funding, grants, seed fund, investment fund. I'll come to that. Now, with the money, not from your pocket, you can, from the government said to us, you can really build prototypes. And then you build your proof of concept, and then you go for validation, then you get seed funding, you scale up with investment funding. And by doing this also, we provide a lot of training programs for skill building and build international collaboration. So technology business incubator in kit is quite popular for this. Now, this is very interesting for all of you. Dear students, please remember, today I'm talking on behalf of kit, on behalf of the startup scheme of government of India, all ministries, a lot of funding is available for you. And KIT TBI is the center of excellence for incubation. Remember, there are only six center of excellence in the country. We're the only private university, the deemed university, which has got this center of excellence in incubation. This is quite huge. Now, if you come with interesting ideas to the technology business incubator, there are people who will really talk to you. We call them mentors. If you have been selected, if you have been selected, and you get fellowships. So this you can get after your BTEC degrees. Of course, during BTEC, you also can start your start companies. We have a lot of other fundings for that. If you get selected from the DST program, every month you can get 30,000 rupees per month, which is quite in interesting, exciting. If you get through the program of BIRAG, you get 50,000 rupees per month. This is more than a job, just like a job but you are not going to be employed in an industry. However, you are taking a path to create an industry. And some of your seniors have done it. I'll just show you quite exciting ex examples. Apart from that, there's a tied 2.0 program of Ministry of IT and Electronics. Those who are from all engineering backgrounds, please remember the Ministry of IT and Electronics is coming in a big way. And KTBI is the tied 2.0 center. If you get selected, we provide you 30,000 rupees per month to really take your ideas in the next level. As I said, I, this is for ideation stage. You want to really avail the fellowships to really translate, do something on your ideas. Now, once you go to the next level, you need prototyping grant. And that prototype grant is you know, 10 to 15 lakhs rupees, which you also get from the DST government of India. And you can also get from Bajak big grant 50 lakhs rupees. Remember, after BTEC degree, you also eligible for getting a 50 lakhs of grant. Of course, your ideas has to be quite interesting. Now, KTBI is quite popular in this. The big grant, which I just said, we have re really given to 138 people in the country, each 50 lakhs of rupees. You can imagine such a humongous grant we've been giving through KTBI to different innovators. Why don't you be one of them? Now, once you grow to next level, and you really, we call them a seed fund stage. Again, as I told you earlier, the money is not a problem in our country. It's all about mind, mindset. It's about your ideas. Bring good ideas, bring good team. Money is plenty level in the country. And Kitty Bay is going to enable you for that. Seed fund, we have one crore. We can give it to innovators like you. If you're really good, great. Now, there's a Niti Accelerator program. Some of you really want some of uh, experts, suggestions, mentoring program, and these experts are quite expensive. You cannot pay them. We call these people, you know, in a three months of time, they can help you through Accelerator program. And this is also funded around 50 lakhs of rupees. There are many programs. 
Some of you are quite excited to build something for defense. Please look for the program, IDEX program of defense. We had uh, you know, last week a program. If you get selected through this, you get around 1.5 crore rupees to build it. Remember, when I said grant, grant money is given to you to spend on your project. Take your ideas to next level, not to buy anything else which you wanted to buy for your personal things. Similarly, some of you became very, very social mindset. You said, I have studied engineering, but I want to build something in my village, in my area, uh, through this kind of you know, support scheme. There's a scheme called Sputti Scheme of Ministry of MSME, which KTBI is one of the technical agencies. We have put up now 21 such cluster, and each project, you get around five crores of rupees. Of course, you have to bring an NGO on board, and then through science and technology, you can solve some of the local problems, but create enterprise there. Remember, each project is five crores rupees, and KTBI has already put 21 such projects in different places. Even many engineers have been leveraging this. So remember, again, I said, my keep my words with you, money is not a problem. KTBI is going to really help you but bring good ideas. This is quite exciting and very, very inspiring. Even for me every day, when I look at these slides, look at these three young students of KIT way back in 2009, 10, when we started KIT technology business incubator. These three students of School of Electrical Engineering students, they built a company called Robotics Your Private Limited. They're doing something else. They're providing training, capacity building programs, to some of the juniors, the classmates, that was fine. They want to build something, a platform on robotics. It couldn't happen. Remember in life, you experiment. By doing experiments, something different, you become really great. But these people, they didn't fail there. They learned something interesting from the first company, and then they start to build a second concept called Far Eye Technology. So Far Eye is a digital logistics platform and they're quite popular. They're students, they're your own seniors from KIT, the first startup company of KIT Technology Business Incubator. And they entered to our campus, then they became 30 members team. We gave them some money, you know, some amount of lakhs of rupees money. And that time in way back in 2010, 11, they could experiment apart from their studies in the incubation center coming there in the evening time, weekends time, and were really, really good students. They got several offers, big offers from companies. <clears throat> they didn't join, of course, you have to take that risk, but they started the company and today the company is valued at 8,000 crores rupees. Remember, it's time to celebrate, time to you know talk about it. The company from KIT, three students, we were back in 2010, 11, Company today is NASDAQ listed. Everybody talks about it. The PM office talks about it. The next unicorn of India coming from KIT students. Why not you? That's what my message to all of you. Think big in KIT and dreaming big is a loud KIT. This company has more than 500 people. Look, one of you come with an idea, <clears throat> get into technology business incubator. And if the idea clicks, Come on, you're going to be the big man. You're going to be the next unicorn of India. So think differently, build your team, and that you can learn in the four years of your studies at BTEC level at KIT University. As I said, dreaming big is allowed at KIT, and KIT is going to provide you a lot of support you know, systems. If this company has 500 people, what else you can achieve? That's what I think my message to all of you, that students can build something like this. And this is all happening in KIT. Why not you? This is one company, again, engineering students, uh, not from KIT, of course, from outside. He went for a job, got a very big job. He just did that job, came back to KIT TBI. I'm just giving you different kind of examples. So if not you, maybe your seniors also can be leveraging KIT TBI's platform. Now, this company, the company, the person came with individual ideas, talked to us. We helped him build a prototyping you know, program for him, give some money. So he has built today one of the most, you know, powerful tool technology is a digital health technology in the IOT systems or in the AI ML platform system called EG check without taking a single drop of blood. Look, he's not a biologist. He's an engineering guy. He is now solving a problem. He realized that getting the blood parameters, this is very invasive. You have to prick and take blood without taking blood. He is calculating five, six parameters, which also correlates with your lungs, kidney, liver functions. Very, very interesting. 
this company could build, did the prototyping at KTBI. We provided money, approached Indian Oil. Indian Oil gave some grant, and then a lot of other people put money. This company has now raised a lot of not less than 30 crores rupees from the market. This all can happen in KTBI. So I'm just requesting all of you, some of you, few of you that think differently. This company is now really doing great. Without taking blood, you can get parameters of blood. This is one of the students, again, master's program. That's what we you know. I'm just giving you examples because very, very interesting to know that it's not about only your teaching and you're getting how much CGP and you're looking for placement. During your BTEC program, if you can take this kind of path, which others have taken and they really became you know, great. Again, I'm saying, of course, all of you may not be successful. That's the nature's rule. Maybe if you become smart during these four years of time, whenever you join any company, you will be known as an entrepreneur and your growth path will be different than others, your colleagues. Look at here one faculty, you know, one faculty of School of Biotech, two students of School of Biotech. During last semester of the project, just like you'll be doing your last semester project work, they didn't copy and paste. They said we want to solve some of the problem statements. So mentors by a faculty of School of Biotech and these two students, they could really take up a problem that whatever the bakery product you take, you know, the big products, it has got a chemical compound called aspargine, it's called acrylamide. They said, how can we create an enzyme which is going to detoxify this you know, chemical compound? They were featured in Economic Times during master's degree, call it a dark horse. KTBI gave him some support, 50 lakhs rupees to these two master students of KIT School of Biotechnology, and then gave some money through the government of India, other schemes and all. They raised private equity fund and look at these two students is now have a four crores turnover company. Of course, they have not grown big like far I, but this is how the journey starts of your students with mentorship program. Now, why I'm saying these are very, very important thing because you have seen faculties, mentoring students, students becoming entrepreneur and a guy, the, the engineering students getting a, got a very good job outside, came back and then starting something. So all can happen in KTBI. Now, again, you must be asking what Kitty Bay. Look at the building here. You know, this is very interesting, which is in Campus 11. This is funded by Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, and we're back in 2009. And this has become now a center of excellence in incubation, I said. Now, it creates impactful, innovative enterprises out of innovative minds. So please, if you really want to take this path, when you join, start exploring KTBI, the innovation ecosystem of KIT. This is one slide I saw it to the whole country in the globe when I, you know, today also Engineers Day, I'm speaking to some of the people in Qatar and other countries. You'll be realized this one slide is enough to speak about KTBI, the innovation ecosystem of KIT. 11 years of journey. Remember from 2009, 10 to 2021, we have grown from existence to excellence. You see the path here, those who are, it's not very visible, but still you can make out so much of funding has come into this ecosystem of KIT because of its excellence and because of deliverables. We have really delivered. Students like you have come with interesting minds. They've got funding, support. They've created enterprises, three crores, five crores, 8,000 crores turn our companies. What else you want from you know this kind of ecosystem? So KIT promotes that kind of culture, that thinking big is allowed, will provide all resources from our end, but you have to be the best, you have to be the smart. All government of India agencies has supported KTBI, the innovation ecosystem, from DBT, DST, MSME, TDB, Defense, Boeing. Look at here in 2018, the Boeing company came into picture. They really, you know, I should not say here, but they looked at very premier institutes of the country and they rejected many of them and they selected KTBI. That's that's what you know, we are very, very fortunate because everybody is coming into picture. There are many European Union grants. So like KTB also promotes students exchange program. They help some of you that also can go to European countries for six months kind of uh, digital work. Everything is happening in the innovation ecosystem in KIT. Now this has grown big now. So incubation ecosystem, which is in KIT has grown big. It has become now center of excellence of Department of Science Technology Government of India and mostly into digital health, engineering and uh, diagnostics. And you'll be very happy to know that we are now thinking to set up a next level of uh, funding, which is called technology cluster, 
Some of you, when you grow big, you need a technology manufacturing zone. So we are just, KTBI is approaching government of India to set up a 500 crores plan for Bhubaneswar technology cluster. Now, by because many of your CLs have done extremely good work in the incubation system in 2021, the Office of Principal Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister Government of India uh, has set up a Bhubaneswar City Knowledge Innovation Cluster, and we'll be very happy that Kit Tibia is leading that. Kit Tibia is leading that. I'm the chairman of the whole cluster, and with us, IIT Bhubaneswar, AIMS, IMMT, CIPET, you name IMMT and all institutions, ICT, all are onboarded. The whole idea that if you come with interesting ideas, Kit may not solve it as a one institution. We go to IIT Bhubaneswar, AIMS, whoever, the, our cluster members. So under this umbrella, I'll be requesting many of you to put up you know, your ideas. It will get selected, we'll help you. This is what uh, the whole ecosystem, what Kit has provided. And you know, I'm very uh, lucky to be a part of this ecosystem. I always see, you know, I always feel jealous about this because during my days, these things were not happening. And today, Kit is providing you that you know, platform so that you can think big and it is going to provide you the wings to fly. Apart from, you know, of course, I know you'll be looking for jobs, but please think differently. Bring ideas. Your ideas may be you know, very crude today, but with mentorship program, it could be much refined. So with that, you will build team, we provide resources. Don't have to worry about money. But again, I said in the country, money is not a problem. This is what our track record says. We are on the best incubator. Ranked as the top incubator in the country. I know I should not say again, um, I never talk like that, but compared to premier institutions, which you call IIT and all, we have been number one among those also. So people respect us, all IIT respects us in kit technology business incubators existence. 250 odd companies we have promoted and it is uh, 96 company got graduated. It means they become better, they moved out. In 11 companies, you have put money. I, you don't have to know at the moment, but we put money of X amount of money. People have given us 3X, 5X return money. As an incubator, if you really start your companies, we can also provide money. So seed fund, the investment fund, we have given around 15.8 crores. Because of that, this company grew big and they have raised 1,200 crores from the market. Look at engineering, innovations, marketing skill, business, investment, you have everything in KTBI. And these companies have created more than 90 plus patents and 4,500 jobs. So what you know, areas we have, of course, healthcare, healthcare is an integrated platform, engineering, medicines, biology and all. The most important I feel is a clean tech, water technology and AI ML platforms. These are very, very engineering platforms are very, very popular in KIT. And you'll, once you come here, you'll see the vibrancy. And I'm sure some of you will be excited, ignited to take this as a career path. When you do good work, like all of you, and most of your seniors have done extremely good work in KTBI. We have been ranked the top incubator in the country in 2017. And we got the award from the Honorable President of India, the Minister of Science and Technology. Startups have been getting really good awards. And you see that our startups, like your seniors, have received award in many places from the President of India, from the Chief Minister of India, many places in Israel, in what you call it, in Japan, in US, everywhere you find these awards. So, ladies and you know, dear students, let me tell you: once you do good work, you get the right platform. Awards are the byproducts. In fact, I have received three times from our President of India awards on behalf of KTBI going to get to more in future now. So why I'm trying to tell you this, tell you this is that awards are by first think about the problem statements which you really want to solve and which has got the bigger impact in society. By doing this, you can build commercial entity enterprises. Now, this can all happen in KIT and KTBA is going to provide the platform. And there are many students, many of your seniors, your juniors are kind of going to do this kind of exercise and we're going to provide a lot of mentorship program you name anyone from the country, from you know, IITs to IIMs to any institutions to any industry to Tata to you know, any company, we can really talk to them because we are part of a platform, part of a cluster program. And city cluster, we have got five different verticals. And engineering vertical is very, very strong vertical. I'll be requesting, suggesting most of you to explore that. And also the very interesting part is technology enabling center. Remember, 
you might have got a very good CV at CGPA, but if you really file patents and then you translate those patents into industries through tech transfer, I think forget about jobs. You will be getting to the job minimum because everybody will run after you. So build those practice here in Kit, and it's all allowed. Talk to your teachers, talk to your mentors, and see that all can happen here. Look here, several logos. I think I'm not. I don't have space to put the logos. Every everybody. Yesterday I was talking to the trade commission of you know Canada. We are going to set up new programs so that students get exposure in Canada, and then you can cross talk and build technologies together, co incubation studies. Almost agencies are there. So with this, I think this is what my team, and I'm very very happy that. Um, this team is going to work for you. There are 40 members team in the Kit TBI who is going to work for you for, to, for this mission program. So let, dear students, please take this as a challenging career. Some of you become successful. One day you can come and then you can hire all your students, all your best mates, all your juniors. Look at the company far, I just said 500 people. And that's what, if you can make five, 10 more companies, the same way you can hire all your friends. Think big. And dreaming big is allowed at Kit University. Thank you. Welcome to Kit again. Thank you, all of you. Thank you, sir, for the wonderful presentation. Now, Professor Ashok Kumar Sahu, sir, will be joining us shortly. Uh, before that, we would like you to know something about our institute, that uh, the Keat University. 
Kate was established in 1992 as a vocational training center with only two staff and 12 students. However, it took shape as an institution only in 1997 when degree engineering programs commenced. Kate owes its existence to the vision of its founder, Professor Achyuta Samanta, who, with no land, limited finance, and little knowledge of higher education, to create an institution for the benefit of the society. From these small beginnings, Keat has developed into a leading university with a strong interdisciplinary culture and commitment to teaching excellence. Keat, though a very young institution, has performed incredibly well in the rankings conducted by various national and international associations. Recently, in, by the, in the rankings by Times Higher Education, Keat was ranked in the group of eight Keat secured the rank of 800 to 1000 ranking. Founded in 1992 and opened five years later as a center of higher learning, its commitment to teaching excellence led to the grant of university status under Section 3 of UGC Act 1956 by Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India in 2004, within only seven years of its inception. It holds a LIMCA record for this accomplishment. Keith is one of the first institutions in the state of Odisha to attract foreign students into various academic programs. Keith has students from over 60 countries, including most of the South Asian nations, proving its reputation as a quality institution of professional education that transcends border. So we would like you to know something about Keith through a video. So I would request sir to play the video for the Keat University, which will brief you all about what the Keat is all about. <laughs> of the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, KIIT deemed university from an humble and modest industrial training institute to being an institution of eminence with overwhelming global acclaim is indeed incredible. Starting in the year 1992-93 in a rented building with 12 students, two teachers and an investment of 5,000 rupees or say 100 US dollars has now grown into a prolific academic conglomerate and a world-class university with the center of excellence and institution of eminence tags. Founded and groomed by the visionary academician, educationist, humanitarian, and social entrepreneur, Dr. Achyuta Samantha, the institute became the youngest ever institute in India to become a deemed university in the year 2004. The university, accredited under Washington Accord, consistently evaluated as Grade A institution by NAC of UGC and NBA, the Institution of Eminent Status from the Ministry of Human Resources Development of India, provides a wide spectrum of courses at the undergraduate, postgraduate, doctoral, and postdoctoral levels in all major professional fields of academic pursuits, including engineering, management, law, medicine, nursing, dentistry, films, fashion, architecture, public health, mass media, humanities, foreign languages, spiritualism, yoga, and many more. It is the first self-enhancing university in the Eastern India to enter the prestigious global university rankings, such as the Times Higher Education World University and QS Breaks World University rankings. The university has a global appeal and a student body of 30,000 students drawn from all parts of the country and a sizable number of students from 55 countries abroad. It has, as of now, over 60,000 strong alumni body spread across the globe. The university spreads over an area of 450 acres and boasts of 23 contiguous lush green sprawling campuses with buildings 
boasting wonderful architecture and planning. And 15 million square feet of aesthetically built up area accommodating the university's 28 schools and their respective student residences, 25 conference halls, 13 auditoriums, 13 sports complexes, sports-wise dedicated stadiums, 25 foot courts, school-wise separate libraries, a central library, an art gallery, a sculpture park, a rose garden, a tribal museum, and a heritage corridor, all contributing to the university's serene and solemn academic ambience. Several bank branches, ATM kiosk, currency exchange counters, a postal services counter, a railway ticket counter, a multi-specialty hospital, cafes and restaurants of all hues and serving wide range of national and international government cuisines, exquisitely stocked bookstores, shopping malls and arcades closed by the campus and a very happening student activity center makes the campus a complete township on its own and an extremely livable and lovable campus. Focus on the holistic development of students distinguishes KIIT. Besides academics, all efforts are made to scout talent among the students and provide all necessary support to bring out the best in each one of them, whether it is personal skills, soft skills, life skills, sports, arts, research, or excellence in academics. This unique focus has produced achievers not only in academics, but also in various other allied fields, including sports and games and cultural pursuits. KIIT has maintained a consistent and an enviable track record of 100% placement to its graduates every year. Many graduates also go on to join reputed Indian and foreign universities for further higher studies. KEET has collaborated with more than 170. Now, I would like to take the privilege to call upon Dr. Ashok Kumar Sahu, sir. He is a professor at Keith School of Mechanical Engineering and Director R&D Technology, Keith DU. He has an extensive teaching, research, and administrative experience of 24 years. He was the former Dean Director of the School of Mechanical Engineering from 2014 to 2020. He has published more than 150 research articles in journals of international repute. He has filed eight patents, out of which two patents have been published as national and international patents by WIPO. Sir is actively engaged in the research in the area of sustainable machining and machinability of advanced materials, hard machining, MQL machining, and nanofluid assisted machining, high speed hard machining, spray impingement cooling, composite development and characterization, tool condition monitoring, surface characterization and surface integrity, non-conventional machining, etc. with the development of machining research lab and production research lab in the School of Mechanical Engineering, KEAT, deemed to be university. He has a rich administrative experience as FIC R&D, FIC timetable, FIC examination, coordinator, program head, and associate dean, dean, director of school and mechanical engineering. And presently, he is continuing as director, research and development technology. Today, he'll be briefing you all about the research facilities, the adoption program, and the facilities of inter collaborative and interdisciplinary research. Sir, I welcome you. Over to Thank you. Good morning to everyone. Slide.
today i am going to deliver the facilities and interdisciplinary research for the students of the kit dim to university so the vision of the university is to create an advanced center of professional learning of international standing where pursuit of knowledge and excellence shall reign supreme unfettered by the barriers of nationality language cultural plurality and religion to achieve the vision lot of missions are set that means to impart the value based quality education of international standards inculcating global perspective in attitude creating leadership qualities fostering spirit of entrepreneurship and realization of societal responsibilities cultivating adapt adoption of ethics instilling habit of continual learning encouraging and supporting creative abilities so our focus So our focus of the R&D activity for the student is to facilitate the student to utilize fundamental technical knowledge and skills to analyze and solve the critical problems, to engage our students to face and also facilitate students to involve themselves in high-end research work through continuous learning, and to integrate training in engineering principles, critical thinking, to engage our students through outreach activities, to make our students industry ready, and to encourage interdisciplinary R&D projects. and to empower our students and faculty in r&d activities by providing high end infrastructure and seed funds for implementing their innovative ideas so in order to carry out the r&d activities of the students a lot of facilities in the kit dim to university are created so i am going to first the central research facility of the kit dim to university we have the field emission scanning electron microscopes for nano and nano structure analysis chemical analysis phase analysis crystallographic analysis morphological analysis electrons biological sciences so this can cut out to the need of interdisciplinary research of many students starting with chemical material mechanical manufacturing electronics civil engineering and also we have thermo mechanical simulator of glebel 3800 it is an industrial standards for thermal mechanical physical simulation starting with alloy development with material testing process simulation can be carried out with these instruments so we have x ray diffractometer which is especially designed for all x ray powder diffraction and scattering applications so you can conduct the lot of r and d projects and um, innovation activities with respect to powder extracted techniques with respect to thin films and coatings research with respect to crystalline materials phase analysis structural analysis and geology and mineralogy and we have also atomic force microscope in central research facility and also the viscometer and rheometer to cater the need of the research of surface morphology particle size roughness of the sample 3d and 2d images in the identification of atoms of a surface and evaluation of interaction between neighboring atoms and this has the wide application in the school in the students of mechanical electronics civil and electrical and computer science engineering and chemical technology those who are interested to carry out the research in biotechnology and nanotechnology area we have also the high resolution nano inventor with dynamic mechanical analysis and also micro roman pl spectrometer so you can conduct the experiment that is scratch test oir test indentation high temperature indentation creep deflection of nano oir flat punch compression dynamic mechanical analysis and this ramon microscopy is especially utilized to conduct the research in phase and chemical uh, characterization of the molecular structures they are bonding for the nano research we have the high energy ball mill we have the particle size analyzer instrument especially utilized for conducting the research in nano grinding size reduction particle size measurement from 10 nanometer to 3.5 mm and mechanical alloys colliding milling a lot of investigation can be carried out by starting with nano particle preparation nano particle characterization and nano fluid preparation and also the characterization so these instruments is used basically used students are actively engaged in the research of this activity Now we have also high sensitivity vibrating sample magnetometer 
we have nuclear magnetic resonance spectrometer this molecular structure of any material can be analyzed by observing and measuring the interface interaction of nuclear spins where when placed in the powerful magnetic fields and this high sensitivity vibration vibrating sample magnetometer is its application particularly in the field of magnetic semiconductors ferrofluids magnetic thin films and multilayers and magnetocaloric effect materials so we have other characterization for the characterization of any sample or any material we have a lot of facilities in the material testing laboratory of the kit university starting with broaching machine we have the torsion machine and universal testing machine we have the rockwell hardness tester micro hardness tester and also we have the polishing and characterization of the set of samples that means your metallurgical microscope for the characterization we have the research facility and interdisciplinary research in the area of metal coating metal forming we have the polymer and metal matrix composite thin film coatings ir thermography so these are some of the areas where the students are actively engaged in the interdisciplinary research and these are the research groups that we have created in the university at different schools so we have the energy electric vehicle we have the nano heat transfer area we have the computational fluid dynamics cad cam ca thermal system design and optimization we have the group of the additive manufacturing and these are the interdisciplinary research areas of the kit university where the students can be involved in the area of the research of robotics aerodynamics solar vehicle renewable energy image processing and analysis process optimization in the in the school of medicine students are engaged in the research of radiology instrumentation orthopedic translation surgical equipments materials and manufacturing thermography dentistry in biotechnology that is translational research and ipr school of biotechnology nanoparticle nanofluids composite material and biogas training center so these are the some of the focused area of the research as far as the nano fluids and nano particle heat transfer combustion and computation of fluid dynamics are concerned concerned where students of btech mtech and phd all are actively engaged in this focused area of the research of the heat transfer augmentation similarly another focused area is the machining or the manufacturing that is called sustainable machining where students are publishing paper carrying out the lot of innovative projects and presenting their paper in national and international journals and this thrust area of the research is called the sustainable machining or hard machining where conventional or non conventional machining uh, research can be carried out and high speed machining and similarly we have a group research group of composite material maybe polymer matrix composite or the metal matrix composite where characterization tribological performance vibroacoustic performance and environmental degradation and characterization activities can be carried out where the students are actively engaged similarly manufacturing starting with raw material to the final product with structure and material evolution and starting with alloy design for characterization microstructure properties performance analysis and processing so the manufacturing research is also uh, we are uh, giving the focus to the student and students are actively involved involved for the alloy design to the processing of the final product so similarly the we have the research thrust of structural acoustic and vibration we have the thrust is uh, to measure the vibro acoustic pre vibration bending bucklings and where the students are conducting the experiment and also the simulation model through ansys abacus and lms virtual lab where this analysis or this research uh, where the student of mechanical computer science and electronics and electrical electrical are merged together and conducting their research we have damage detection using vibration analysis and ai techniques where the computer science mechanical and electronics are conducting the research in this area to measure the vibration analysis of a structure and machine elements by utilizing the artificial intelligence techniques we have another thrust area of the research for the student is tribology of composite material where they are conducting the research on tribology aspect material development aspect mechanical characterization aspect powder metallurgy and also the application of artificial neural networks so it is a combination of the mechanical electronics material and also the school of computer science and also the electronics people students and this is also the performance another thrust where the research uh, can be carried out in the area of the performance evaluation of a railway vehicle with horn experimentally and also the simulation model can be developed with the help of the bond graph adams and matlab 
where it is international research area, research area where computer science and the mechanical and electronics can be merged. Another area also the low oil condition monitoring and also the international research of robotics, machine and mechanism structure analysis. So this is a complete interdisciplinary the area of the robotics and mechatronics research. But the design students have developed and designed the novel city mounted robot. It's kinematic uh, aspects. It is and model developments, medical imaging, and agricultural robotics and machine learning all are involved using. And also the students have developed the simulation model. Through MATLAB, Python, SOLIDWORKS, CATIA, and also ANSYS. So another multidisciplinary research is autonomous robotics and soft computing. Its area is autonomous wheeled robot navigation and control. You can conduct the experiments on autonomous humanoid robot and control, hybrid with the help of hybrid soft computing techniques, autonomous service robots like cleaning robots, unmanned landline, and model detector robots. Through simulation using MATLAB and BRP software. So it is an interdisciplinary research with all the students of School of Technology. So severe plastic deformation and material characterization starting with metal cutting and metal forming, it's plastic deformation, powder material, metal characterization, and also the metal materials composites. So this is also the interdisciplinary research by experimental and also the simulation techniques with the help of all the students of School of Technology. So another inter interdisciplinary research is polymer composite and metal matrix composite. So another uh, area of the research is multi-scale material handling and characterization. We have a coating, thin film coating research group in the School of Technology, particularly in the KID University, where the students are engaged in the development of thin coatings in case of the cutting tool, in case of any material, maybe sputtering technique, maybe CBD technique, maybe physical vapor deposition, or maybe chemical vapor deposition process. So we have a setup for the characterization. Heat transfer is another technique, another area. Multi-phase flow simulation with the help of the computation of fluid dynamics, and with, rest, uh, and with the help of the finite element analysis, so we can carry out a lot of experiment and simulation model in the area of the heat transfer analysis. Then thermofluid problems, inverse analysis. This is also the interdisciplinary research. And also the combustion and emission, liquid fuel combustion or the solid fuel combustions. And also the dual fuel technique in diesel engine, biomass, biofuel, heat transfer, air conditioning, and efficient power generation, carbon capture, sequestration. We have a aerodynamics and aeroacoustics research group in the School of Technology where the students are engaged in the research of aerodynamics, carbon dioxide capture, CIS interaction, aeroacoustics, flow induced vibrations, and non nutrient flow by a simulation model or through experimental model with the help of the software ANSYS. We have a dedicated machining center in the School of Technology. This is a research group where they are actively engaged in the research of sustainable manufacturing through machining of hard material, composite material, aerospace material, and difficult to cut alloys. And they are in, with the help of different cooling and lubrication techniques and through the nano fluid application or through minimum quantity lubrication. So we have a lot of facilities related to the sustainable manufacturing area of the research in the KIT University for the students. We have a solid state, solid state welding group also in the research in the School of Technology where all the students are involved. And they are doing experiment with the help of Abacus, Cosmol, and ANSI software where computer science, electronics, electrical, mechanical, all the students uh, can conduct their research work or the project work. Micro and nano machining is also the another area of the research. We have a dedicated setup for the nano machining and micro machining, and also the cryogenic setup also there. The students can conduct the experiment. We have a 3D printing. So one of the disruptive technology nowadays that is called the 3D printing, which is called the RDT manufacturing. So students are uh, engaged in the uh, project, in their project, starting with 3D model to slicing, 3D printing, and the final product. With the help of 3D printing machine, we have in the KIT University, we have a 3D printing machine. Packaging process optimization, industrial engineering for multi response optimization, quality engineering and management with the help of different software, nano fluid machining that I have told already, 
So this is the dedicated central WhatsApp where the first year school of technology students, when they will come to the campus, they will go to the central WhatsApp to conduct their research, to conduct their projects work and first year basic manufacturing system laboratory in this workshop. It is dedicated for all the students of School of Technology where a lot of advanced machines like CNC lathe, CNC milling, and rapid prototyping, prototyping like 3D printing machines are available in this workshop where you will be involved and carry out a lot of experiment and work in this central workshop so that it will help you to conduct the project and will facilitate you to do some prototype to conduct some uh, fabrication work, everything in this workshop. We have a dedicated computer aided design and development design uh, laboratory, and we have a steam and robotics laboratory facilities for the students. We have also the Siemens Center of Excellence because a lot of industries are collaborated with the uh, schools for development of their own labs. So one is Siemens Center of Excellence. We have a collaborations with NI Instruments. We have developed the to NI in Innovation Center to carry out the research on robotics and mechatronics. We have an advanced manufacturing processes laboratory where 3D printing, you might be seen here, 3D printing and also the electro discharge machining, ultrasonic machining, like a lot of advanced machining setup are available for the research of the students. We have a dedicated aerospace laboratory to carry out the high end research in the area of aerospace, aeroacoustics, and also the uh, composite materials. A lot of computer, almost all computational facilities are available in the KIT University for the students. We have a lot of sponsored research project where the students and faculties are engaged and they are sponsored. They, they, this, these projects are sponsored by different funding agencies of government of India like AICT, DHT, SERB, BRNS, and Department of Atomic Energy. And a lot of projects are running where the students are doing their projects and experiment. We have the research facility dedicated. We have the different research facilities in each and every school of the KIT University. So these are some of the research facility facility in, every, in each and every school. That is production research laboratory. We have thermal research laboratory, machining research laboratory. We have advanced reliability center. We have composite development and characterization laboratory. We have NI innovation center. We have Green Engine Technology Center dedicated to carry out high-end research work of the BTEC students of the KIT University. It is not limited to any single branch. It is open to all the students. You might have seen here how many faculties and how many students are involved in this particular research lab. It is clearly mentioned. This is the, some snapshot of the research laboratory of the KIT University as a whole. This is the production research facility. Now, these are some of the facilities or the high-end... Uh, uh, equipments available to carry out the high-end research work, starting with microscope, metallurgical microscope, polishing setup, or MQL setup, and a lot of activities. We have the thermal research laboratory, dedicated for the research of biofuel and biodiesel preparation and all the things. We have machining research lab to, uh, to study the machinability of a hard material, maybe surface finish tool, we have temperature analysis, force analysis. We have composite characterization laboratory, we have Green Engine Technology Center. We have NI Innovation Center in collaboration with industry. We have an advanced reliability center to carry out the experiment or research in the area of the condition monitoring. And this laboratory or this facility, research facility, has been developed with the help of the industry like escape bearings. Students are actively engaged in their innovative projects for which they have filed the patents based on their innovative work. And these are a lot of the innovative product and design uh, which has been developed by the student. They have filed the patent for it. And look at the how many patents the students have filed in the KIT University. It is, uh, these are the number of patents where it is already filed, published, and also some of them are granted by the students of the KIT University. So these are some of the patents related to all the area of school of technology. May not be mechanical, it may be electrical, it may be computer science, electronics, chemical, biotechnology. These are a lot of publications. The students have uh, pub, the students have published their research work in the high quality journal. Also, these are some of the high impact factor journal where the students have published their research paper because this will enhance. This will this will help you if you involve yourself. So this will help you to do some MS work after the BTEC study, if you pursue any high-end uh, in, in high research in the 
foreign university or if you want to go abroad with the ms so this will help you a lot uh, to get a chance these are the list of some journal publications with high impact factor by the students recently in the 2020 with impact factor 8.208 some collaborative research students are engaged in the school of technology particularly in the area of bio instruments and medical imaging bio medi mechanics orthopedic engineering where the students of computer science mechanical electronics electrical civil all are involved in this interdisciplinary research this is a collaborative research i am giving an example students are engaged in bio instrumentation medical imaging combines knowledge of unique physical phenomena generic electrics we have the students are engaged in biomechanics and also biomaterials finger joints breast implant hip joints artificial heart students are engaged in the research of tissue engineering biomedical engineering we have a interdisciplinary research of additive manufacturing that i have told is one of the disruptive technology that is applied to the medical sciences these are some of the successful projects students have already carried out medic material developments synthesis characterization and clinical testing of nano composites we have a thermal imaging group they have carried out successfully certain projects with the help of kalinga institute of medical sciences maybe thermal imaging medical robotics these are some successful projects students have developed and this is electric solar ambulance students have designed and fabricated in house and this is especially designed for physically challenged person in the kit university this is the own ambulance the student have developed this is the interdisciplinary research where all the students are actively we have a dedicated student research center where different societies are are, are, are there maybe kit automotive society maybe kit aeronautical society or maybe your reputation and air conditioning lot of society technical society are there where the students are actively engaged in their project to work and they are publishing the paper paper filing the patent and also they own many prizes in nationally and internationally so these are some of the snapshots of the awards achieved by the student by the different society of the student research center of the kit university so these are the um, projects maybe solar electric board project as american society of mechanical engineer hpbc project human powered vehicle challenges winners of formula green racing car maybe team kitab skyline racing these are some of project most popular uh, project award received by the students by union minister of hrd prakash jabedkar ji most popular award project award best in design best in innovation so so lot of achievements by the students by the all terrain vehicle aeronautical competitions in outside of india in sai competitions baja sai competition from their vehicles which is developed by students themselves in the kit university campus this is the society activities filed the patent by the students look at we have a dedicated student innovation award the received by the students of the school of technology we have a project expo at the final year of your student final of your project you we are conducting a project expo for all the students of school of technology and the best project is always awarded with a kit innovation award we have a mau memorandum of understanding with a mercedes benz and also the boss to carry out the research of automotive mechatronics learning and research center we have another thrust area in inter interfacing and renewable sources machine control automation drive so these are also the grid connection optimal optimal placement of apm energy tradition iot application so this is also another thrust area of the research available in the school of technology where the facilities like energy and control laboratory ni innovation center power system research laboratory we have machine and power electronics research laboratory also there for electrical electronics and computer science students we have plc research lab also this facility is also available for home automation laboratory the major equipments are all on mso dso non isolated power supply and isolated power supply and we have the facility like a dish space solar panel interface these are the practical setup available 
for the student to carry out the experiment in multi level inverter for renewable energy conversion so this set of they have the, we have a lot of collabor collabor collaboration with national and in, in, international industry and as well as the institutes where the students are engaged these are some of the collaboration of industrial collaboration and these are the some of the institute collaboration we have done where the students are jointly publishing the paper and jointly carrying out the projects we have the another research facility of vlsi design and embedded system also signal and for, for signal and processing area of the research communication engineering also rf and microwave advanced control and instrumentation thin film photovoltaic and material so these are some of the another interdisciplinary research groups also available in the school of technology and also we have collaboration with the different national and in, in international agency like Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research. We have the collaboration with the ISRO. We have the collaboration with the different foreign university in Turkey, Romania, and also the Austria, Spain. Lot of foreign university, lot of research facility like MATLAB, LabVIEW software, hardware facilities available. We have a thin film photovoltaic like that I have already told in the multidisciplinary research in the area of the coatings, thin film coatings. So these are the facility, or like the sputtering system, DC RF sputtering system. Thermal evaporative system, spin coater, RTA pond. So these facilities are available to carry out high-end research work. For the characterization facility, we have XRD, Hall effect, UV spectrometer, and ED XRF system. Students have published the paper, research publication. These are the some of the research projects of the students are ongoing, very good projects. Students have filed the patent based on their innovative work from this research facility. Also, we have another interdisciplinary research in the area of alternating and building material, starting and dynamic analysis, composite and nanostructure, geotechnical engineering, environmental engineering, industrial waste, climate change. So these are the another research thrust, the facilities like structural engineering laboratory, material testing, and geotechnical engineering, BIMS laboratory available. The major equipments like UTM, servo control bending, compression, te compression testing machine, Major requirement like Marshall stability, fully automated triaxial approaches. There's a spectrometer, COD digester, lot of equipments available to carry out this research, servo hydraulic dynamic testing systems, ion chromatography, mass spectrometer, CHN analyzer, advanced computational facilities available for this research. A lot of research projects are undergoing with, uh, for this research interdisciplinary research group. Where the collaborative research is going on, students are engaged, and these are the innovative projects the students have performed already in different areas. These are, these are this is the successful project by the student for the development of floating wetland for the treatment of the wastewater, and this is the innovative project by the student of design analysis of speed breakers. This is the innovative achievement of the student. They have constructed the road without cement. So this is called the green concrete road, which is developed by the students of School of Technology. So this is the pride moment for the student of School of Technology. And they have published a lot of papers, a lot of students achievement from this research group, published the paper, many very good quality journals, high quality journal, impact factor. There are another interdisciplinary research in the School of Technology in the area of uh, Theoretical foundation, software engineering, artificial intelligence, data science, artificial intelligence, machine learning, image processing, and natural language processing, a lot of things. And they are involved, they have a special interest group for the research in software engineering, AI, machine learning, and soft computing, data science, analytical, analytics. So yeah, student of computer science, electronics, mechanical, electrical. So all are combined in this special group. And they have we have a dedicated AI ML for healthcare data analysis for societal and business issues. These are the group of AI ML. These are some of the research projects carried out already by the student with the help of this research group of artificial intelligence, machine learning and data analytics. Publics the paper in good quality journal, lot of projects have been carried out with the help of this research group by the collaborative research. These are the, some of the snapshots of the data science Congress. Presentation, workshop, conferences, the students are actively engaged. Project Expo, as I have told already, in the final year Project Expo. And also, they have involved the research in healthcare, assisting physician for clinical decision making 
up to date medical information 24 is available to experts they have the research in pediatric elliptical seizure detection system this ai ml group by the school of computer engineering with the help of other school also published a paper they have done the access they have very good project a lightweight computer aided diagnostic systems they have conducted the project on malaria detection knee ligament skin cancer and chest x ray with the help of uh, kalinga institute of medical science these are some of the products for malaria detector cancer detector and also acl tcl detector these are our product developed by the students of school of technology startup they have done it then they have done a very good project on detection or detection of a brain tumor with the help of ai and ml basically particular to application of healthcare gastrointestinal diseases segment and classification so this project also the students have doing carried out lung cancer classification from ct images and detection of lung abnormality from ct scans this project also students have already carried out means and also the smart classroom along with public safety violence detections the, this project also the students have done it in their final year project and research speech based aggression detection system also the students have developed with the help of mi ai ml and data analytic groups big data analysis the another area we are the project on profitable self placement of perishable goods this type of projects so they have done it in the uh, big data analytic research groups the objective also another adaptive model for sentiment analysis of social media data using deep learning techniques so this is a group another another object another project is a entity extraction for cv parsing and some student achievement because they have collaborated not only in the institute and industry of india they have collaborated with the different university abroad also in the state university of new york and also the alin sam university montreal university and australian national university some of the achievements by the faculty some of the significant contribution by the students for uh, for this project and also they have collaborated with many institutes nationally and internationally these are some of the another thrust area of the research in the area of material school of applied science basic sciences like advanced material rare earth material synthetic chemistry environmental science and life sciences pure and applied math and mathematics another collaborative research you can conduct in the area of uh, biotechnology like human disease biology infection biology and public health nanotechnology and we have collaborated with institute of life science ibsd and icgeb and rmrc we have a nisb national innovation and startup policy of the kit university where it is the basic aim is to support the faculty student and staff to participate in the innovation and entrepreneurial activities by institute innovation council so we have a dedicated institute innovation council in the kit university uh, by the advice of the aict and it conducts various innovation and entrepreneurial creative activity in the students for the students we have a key tbi as rightly told and we, students can involve themselves with the high end innovative research work and so the startup activities also these are some of the snapshot of the different activities of the tbi activities of the students in iic activity and nisp activity entrepreneurial activities national science day celebration and we have achieved finally the rank 1 the kit university is rated as a rank 1 in the aria ranking auto ranking of innovations auto ranking of institution of innovation achievement aria ranking by the mhrd government of india in 2020 thank you very much for the patience learning thank you professor sir thank you sir for uh, acquainting our students with the vast themes of research being carried out by our students now i would like to invite mr s k rat sir who is presently serving as the director hostel he is he has been associated with keet for more than 20 years from now and he is a very good administrator with 
very great leadership skills and he has he is a very student friendly person and has been managing the hostel very effectively and efficiently today he'll be briefing you all about the uh, facilities the hostel facilities available inside the campus so i request sir to good morning students thank you to each and every one of you for being here and joining us today it's a great pleasure to welcome at another wonderful batch to kit university this next step in your life is going to be a transformative journey you will be carving your future building blocks to your successful careers and at the same time making friendship for life and i can assure you in no time you will be finding kit university as your home away from home we commit to become the wind behind your wings and see you soar i would like to take this opportunity to also thank the vision behind this university the man behind this great academic institution our founder dr achyut samanta for being the constant inspiration for all of us now you can go through the video on hostel life We have got thirty-four boys hostels and sixteen girls hostel for the entire university, and twenty-five thousand students are residing in all the hostels. This is a dining hall, dining area of one of the hostel. a three seater room it is showing three seater room we have got three types of room three seater non ac three seater ac two seater non ac and two seater ac with attached toilet Cells are under CCTV surveillance. It's about the ladies' hostel campus. 
There are five ladies hostel inside one campus. All the boys' hostels has been named as King's Palace and girls' hostels are named as Queen's Castle. The biometric machine are installed in each hostel for hostel attendance. And at the time of going home, the, automatically the message is sent to the parents. It's a dining area for another hostel. It's two bedded AC premium. Premium means you have to toilet. Higher fighting equipment are installed in each hostel. 24 and 7 internet, Wi Fi inside the hostel. Is the water heat to water coolers installed in each hostel in each floor? 
with the reading room. The AC reading room are there in each hostel. Solar water heaters are installed in each hostel, which is fitted, which is in the dining area and in the kitchen area also it is available throughout the year. It's a kid class house inside the ladies hostel for the girls students for birthday celebration and any other celebration by the borders of the girls hostel. It's a garden library newly introduced. It's inside the lawns of the different campuses. Garden library are there. Students can sit and read in the garden area with the greenery. It's the hostel reception area for the parents. When they come to visit their ward, they used to visit them in the reception area. It's a jogging track inside the hostel campus of the students during morning time and evening time, they used to walk in the jogging track. Sports and fitness center is exclusively there inside the hostel campus also, apart from the sports complex in different campuses. Badminton, billiards, everything is available as you can see. Table tennis. Swimming pool also is there inside the sports complex, inside the hostel premises. Ambulance services is available throughout the day and night for in each hostel or the borders of the hostel to take them to our own medical schemes. the dining area, common area, washing area. Toaster is given in the dining hall. It's the brain Mary where the food is there. It's, it's the dishwasher.
washing machines are also installed in each hostel. Induction cooker is given for sanitary napkin destroyer are also installed in the girls' hostel. Washing machines are also installed in each floor of the hostel to be used by the students themselves. It's three-bedded AC premium, that means AC with attached toilet. Hope it must have given an idea about the hostel life. About the hostel, it's the solar water system. It's a dining hall, which we have seen. Geyser for cleaning dishes. It's border room, as you have seen. It is a dining hall. Name of the boys' hostels, 35 boys' hostels. Name of the girls' hostels, 16 girls' hostels. All are Queen's Castle. Achievements. Central announcement system, attendance are taken and SMS are sent to the parents and all other points I have already discussed. It's alcohol free and smoking free campus. Security and safety, all hostels are covered under CCTV, 24 hours Wi-Fi. Biometric attendance, mess food is also tested every day. It is a biometric system and central announcement system. Thank you. I'm sure most of you are anxious and excited as you should be for the first time in your life, you would learn to live on your own and be in a completely new place with completely new people to each one of you. I say, take a deep breath and enjoy the ride. It's going to be worth it. Thank you for patient hearing and viewing. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for acquainting our students with the uh, different hostels uh, inside the university campus. With this, we come to the end of our program. And I would like to thank uh, everyone involved uh, here in this program. So I would like to, first of all, I would like to thank direct, Director General R&D Technology, uh, Dr. Mrityunjay Suwar, sir. I would like to thank Dr. Ashok Kumar Sahu, sir, Director R&D Technology. I would like, I, I also would like to thank uh, director, uh, director Hostel, Mr. S.K. Rath, sir, Director Admissions, Prashant Kumar Mahapatra, sir, and I would like to thank the people from ICT cell, the people from Audio Visual cell, who have been instrumental in engaging uh, in this Keet Connect program, uh, and I would like to thank all those whose names I might have skipped, but they have contributed to this program. So with this, we come to the end of our program and we all are missing your presence. So hope this pandemic period gets over as soon as possible and we are awaiting your arrival here. Thank you. Thanks to one and all.